It's Whatever Wednesday on the Burma Note. I'm Greg, he's Ben, and today we have... Bing? Bang? Boom? Bang. Bam. Bam. <laughs> Double bam. What is this? I don't. Even, I can't even see it. Windsor Canadian. Oh, what uh, what have we done to deserve this pleasure? So we've talked a lot about it. In fact, in, I think in our live episode, we even talked about uh, Canadian. Yeah. But I'm sure I've had this at some Canadian point. Canadian whiskey fans are cringing that you're using this as a <laughs> as the As the benchmark? Yeah. <laughs> this is the benchmark of Canadian whiskey, isn't it? Well, I don't know. And so I'm sure I've had it, but I can't think of any specific time. We ran out of weird stuff in the bar in our personal <laughs> oh, there's collections plenty of to, weird stuff. <laughs> to drink on whatever Wednesday. So Greg was like, well, I'll grab a couple of mini bottles exactly. of something. So, well, you know what? Let's try it. Cause this actually is an extremely popular whiskey. It is very widely, I mean, a lot of people have it. And it, you know what? There's probably a fan base for it. I don't think it's popular to just drink neat. Do you want to just, uh, do you want the whole bottle? But, okay, let's split a bottle. And then I'll save the I mean, rest if it turns part. out to oh, somehow yeah. be exceptional, then, you know. All right, so I'll do the full half. Quarter. Very light, blended Canadian whiskey, 80 proof. So my theory is this is going to be very rye forward, like kind of like an, a rye yeah. whiskey. Uh, but obviously it's from Canada. I mean, I just can't hear and the word Windsor without thinking of Coke after it. Because you always hear exactly. Windsor Coke. Yeah, Windsor exactly. Coke. Um, Probably should have brought some Coke down. It's also probably... Um, it's used casks, right? We think. I have no idea. I don't know what the the yeah. legal yeah, ramifications yes. for on any Canadian whiskey. So, so we're totally going in blind. What the? F <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't smell like I thought it was gonna smell. I get light vanilla and very light brown sugar. I'm getting light like chemicals. Really? <laughs> yeah, almost like a. Ink, chemicals, or like a, like the smell of a, a, a dark room, you know, developing photographs or something like that. So like- I'm getting like a weird, there's a weird like chemical note to it. That is officially the weirdest tasting notes I've ever thrown out on this channel. No, they're, I mean, I honestly, like, I mean, this smells slightly like a bourbon, you know, maybe a little on the weak really? side. I'm yeah, not getting that at all. I'm not all. getting anything weird. Maybe there was something there. People so, are watching right now. It's like, are you really putting this much effort into well, nosing a Windsor Canadian? Well, <coughs> yes, as a matter of fact, we are. Because <laughs> that's what we do here at the that's Bourbon Note. Take everything seriously. Professionalism through and through. All right, I'm going for it. I think I'm done with it. Okay, cheers. You know, maybe this wasn't intended to be nosed. <laughs> not intended to be nosed. Can we have a shirt of that? At there is a shirt that says not intended to be nosed on our merch store. You can find the link in the description below. Yeah. We're gonna to get to the point that we'll put so many of our, you know, like the, the, our self-aggrandizing, putting our own quotes on shirts that eventually we'll have a shirt just says, we have a shirt of that. <laughs> uh. Oh. Are you drinking the same thing I'm drinking? Uh, yeah, that tastes horrible. I'm getting nothing horrible. It's really? not the most, Oh, like Amazing. sour and just... There is a bitterness, but I, I, I would consider that kind of light. It's It bites more than an 80 proofer should, but it bites with like... There's like a chemical thing to this that I... That's odd. It's so weird that we're not... I'm not getting that at all. So my dad worked in the printing industry, and I just remember sometimes going like to see, you know, at his work and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Like I just remember there being a smell of like the... Squid? Because they have ink, right? Yeah. This is what I deal with. <laughs> um, just like the smell of like the press room and sure. stuff like that. I yeah. just remember, hmm. and the chemical note I'm getting from this is just slightly reminding me of that for some odd reason. It's weird how well, yeah, a I scent mean, that has nothing to do with like a flavor of something can just manifest itself that way. Sure. So I'm not getting any of that. Like I am kind of getting like youthful corn note, like shoe rubber. Really? Yeah, I'm just getting such weird. Maybe I have COVID. 
No. Well, that doesn't enhance your abilities. Maybe you were bitten by a radioactive stink bug or something. Wait for the superpowers that come with that. <laughs> exactly. Again. Second sip wasn't quite as bad as the first one. The first one was just like, I don't know. It tasted like a... So there is a metallic note. Yeah, very metallic. Um, it is a little... It has a interesting like push from the um, the ethanol, but it's not a burn. It's just like a bitter kind of like hits your tongue. Clearly, this would be improved by mixing it with Coke. Yeah, and, and that's why a million people have done. That. <laughs> or mixing it with your drain. <laughs> I honestly like. I think it's fine. Oh, I don't like it. I. But I keep drinking it. I just I hate myself. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Um, I yeah I, don't... I'm, I keep drinking because I'm trying to figure out what it is that's so off-putting about sure. this to me. So I'm not getting any like there's a couple of notes that are a little like meh, less than perfect, but I don't hate it. <clears throat> but I definitely feel like if if this were the only bottle I had, it would definitely get mixed with something. I was just gonna say, there's a lot of times when I say you know it's something that I'm not like a Basil Hayden's or something mm -hmm. that I'm not particularly thrilled about. Mm -hmm. But if it's what's available, sure, I'll have a pour of it. Mm -hmm. This, I would pass on and just have something else or nothing. I just, I wouldn't sip this neat for any reason and enjoy it. It is, now that I've had several sips, I can, I'll be able to finish the glass, but I definitely don't want any more. Mm -hmm. But I would, you know, have a pour of almost any bourbon. Um, it's, it's just not satisfying as a flavor. Right. The flavors I think are fine. I just don't love them. But they are in the traditional kind of rye whiskey, bourbon-y kind Ugh. of flavors. They're just not. I just, I, right. I'm having a visceral reaction that's, to this. That's it's just so weird. I'm trying to think of what we've had. It reminds me of that um, one of those. early times, the regular early times a little bit. Hmm. And one of those, total, remember that total wine one that I hated and they yep. just threw the bottle? Yeah. Um, but I'm not getting any notes like we've got the vitamin note before or other I'm getting flavors. a little vitamin note on here, like a little minerally and I don't know. It's just like, if you would have not told me what this was and just poured it for me, I would have had no idea. You know what? There is a flavor. I will tell you this. It's not the sweetness of this thing, but I think, well, I'm not sure what they're called, but they're, it's a Halloween candy. It's a tube, like a paper tube and you open the end and it's, it's just flavored sugar. Yeah. Are those pixie sticks? Is that what that yeah, is? Yeah, pixie sticks. Yep. It has a pixie stick kind of flavor. Interesting. Yeah, this is, uh, I mean, I don't know how in depth we need to go on Windsor Canadian <laughs> here, but that's what whatever Wednesday is for, is for drinking oh, totally. random stuff that we don't normally, like most of the bourbons we drink on the show are ones that we want to see what they're like. We're excited about them. Yeah. We want to try them. Whatever Wednesday is good for doing stuff like this. Cause this is like, I think if you look this up, this is probably like a top selling whiskey. I, I totally think this is like by volume. And you know, you can do better. I will say that even for mixing this in a cocktail, I got to imagine just like a Jim Beam white label or Evan Williams black label. Or Jack Daniels basic. Yeah, yeah or exactly. Any of those. Or, and there's also lots of rise in that category as well. I wonder how much this costs for like a home wrecker, the big plastic jug, the home oh, wrecker. They've got to be like forty nine nine. I would yeah, guess. Yeah, probably. For the 175? I don't, I honestly don't know. I'd like to see this set 100 proof. <laughs> also a shirt we also have. Also a shirt Does it say available. I'd like to see this at 100 proof or I'd like to try this at 100 proof or can I try this? Can I try this at 100 proof? Okay. I think is how it was worded. Which is not actually how we say it. So it's a weird shirt. I like it though. That's gonna be my next order. Okay. Can I try this at 100 proof? Yeah, that's there's something really janky about that. This I, is a not recommend for me. I I would say use it the way that everyone else uses it. Yeah. I would say don't use it. It's a yeah. Buy some Evan Williams. You know what? <laughs> I don't know. It says bourbon on the logo because I really like. Yeah, there there are a ton of bottom shelf bourbons that are better choices, I would say. Yeah, absolutely. 
But I mean, I think if you're but, drinking this, you're probably it's it's your regular go-to bottle, and yeah. you don't care. You like it. Yeah. To each their own. That's that's totally. what we say here at the Bourbon Note. So, all right. Well, do you have, do you want to get any more in depth on this no, I think we're banger done. here, or do you think we can put a plug in this, or pull the plug on it, or put a pin in it, or whatever, whatever they say? I don't know. Whatever they say. Anyway, this has been Windsor Canadian on whatever Wednesday on the Bourbon Note. I'm Ben. I'm Greg. Thanks for watching. Till next time. See you next time. There it was.